Hello my YouTube friends, it's Margaret here from Emmy's Orchids and I thought I'd just bring you into the garage where the cymbidiums are and uh, if you see that little new growth there, I'm quite excited about that. Now this is the one from uh, Madeira and this is the uh, Excalibur and uh, if you remember, um, I'll just pan back a little bit, all the cymbidiums um, I'd put them in a community pot until I realised that um, this one here had got Fusarium. Now I think Fusarium is just present in Madeira and there's not uh, the, the plants have just adapted so I didn't worry too much I've, I potted it on in, in this uh, pot it's, it's glazed on the outside but it's terracotta inside and uh, Sorry about that, I've been attacked by another <laughs> cymbidium leaf. But uh, anyway, uh, it's doing fine. And um, as I say, they've been outside um, for several days, I think probably six days on the run up to Christmas, because the temperatures here went very mild. And I thought, well, here goes, they're going back outside now, because where they are in the hallway and the central eating, um, that's not good for them. I need the, they need the winter chill to um, to initiate the um, the flower spikes. Now let me just put that one down here, and um, let's go on to this one now. Now this is oh dear, they're that big and heavy now. Um, they they're all named now. These are here. Well, that's tell a lie because I've got one unnamed there, which is a Marks and Spencer's one, but. Um, I'll go to that in a minute. So this one here, um, I repotted. Let me just stand up now, and because uh, sometimes it's easier. Oh, you have to be careful because they just attack you. These leaves do. Now these are all, um, except for the Marks and Spencers one. These are all standard cymbidiums, and they grow enormous. So if you don't have room to put them, um, don't ever be tempted to get um, standard ones. Now if you look here. If I turn it round, I mean, I'm so thrilled with this big pseudobulb here. I mean, look at the uh, look at the uh, thickness of that bulb. She's got good roots. Um, I did have these roots covered up, and I've got some more orchid mix there. But every time they've been outside or they've been watered, um, then the um, the roots become exposed. So she's this year. Um, She's had this new growth here. She's had that new growth here. Um, that was the original growth, if I'm right. Uh, that one and that one. And then last year it grew this big pseudobulb. And uh, let's just take you in. I can't see any signs of, um, let me just have another look, flower spikes at all. Sorry about that. Let me just put her over here. They are quite heavy actually, you know, and uh, sometimes they do my back in with lifting. Excuse that. Anyway, let's go to this one now. So this one is Ice Nymph. And with this one, let's sit down now, but it won't affect me back as much. Um, so this one and this one was just one plant. And what happened with this one is um, when I come to pot them up, the root system is enormous. And I wanted to put them in these matching pots. So uh, I had no alternative but to uh, to try and separate them, which I did successfully. Um, this blew over in the wind outside, which I was really upset about, but never mind. And so this year, what's it what's it done this year? Um, so it's grown that big bulb here. No, not this year. Tell a lie. That's last year's. So this year it's grown this big pseudobulb here. Well, it's a new growth, isn't it? And 
it's um, put out this one so it doesn't look as though there's going to be any flower spikes um, this one is this is the three older pseudobulbs it put out this one last year and it's put this new one out this year and again I can't see any flowers, um, yeah, flower, no, nope, there's nothing there. So we have to be thankful now that uh, at least they're in their own individual pots. I've got new growths on them and maybe next year I might be lucky, um, I, who knows. Now let's now see. Sometimes cymbidiums fall out of favour because they're so difficult to rebloom, and that is correct. I don't know why they've got to have the perfect conditions. So that means they've got to have this winter chill. Well, I can give them the will the winter chill here in England, um, and that should initiate new flower spikes but because I've disturbed them this year um, let me just sit down ah, sorry about that um, all it's been able to give me this year are new growths and that's a new growth that's new growth that's a new growth now this is the Marks and Spencers one this is one that's a new growth this is the one I've had since 2014 so hopefully now this is this is just supposed to be a normal a normal cymbidium, but if you look at the others, it's not far off a standard one. This isn't, and uh, I'll move this over here now, and I'll bring the last one he interview. There we go. Now this one is you won't see that. I'll have to tell it you. It's uh, Island Hill, Coxbridge Raj, and uh, this one's, is it focusing right for you? This one is, has done marvellous, but again, no flower spikes, but it's put on this new growth this year, it's give us this one, it's give us this one, and I've got good strong pseudobulbs. I mean we're only in December, nearly January of course, so there is still a chance that they may send out um, flower shoots um, in January. They, they could be just a little bit late in, um, in sending them out, but if not, like I've explained in my previous videos, um, really this year I do need to focus on getting the orchids healthy and if by having them healthy that means um, I don't get any flowers well then the flowers will come eventually you'll, you'll see the leaves now the leaves are like this because they do spend a lot of time in the garden during the summer months and uh, we get a lot of sun and I try and move them into the shade but I'm always, I'm sometimes I'm not uh, quick enough and uh, the sun beats down on them but that's just a small price to pay I mean I wouldn't be able to show them but um, you know it's not for showing purposes anyway um, I thought I'd just uh, show you the cymbidiums and they will stay here in the garage the over there with that one, that one, see, they all stand on there just to keep them chilled because while, we, while we've got this very cold spell now, they, if they're in the hallway and they, there's a radiator right next to where they stand, then it's too hot. So. So I'll finish this video now 
and all the best for everyone for 2018 and we all will reflect and think well that's another year of my life gone and uh, <laughs> so let's hope there's peace and joy for 2018 throughout the world. Take care now. Bye.